Hi, you're watching Proof What Less Surgery Works. My name is Mackenzie, or Kenzie Restricted. You want to see Daddy? Um, here on YouTube and Facebook. So, this week's question is, uh, what has weight loss surgery done for you that you could not do for yourself before having weight loss surgery? Um, and then, how is, how is it that weight loss surgery was the right thing for you? Do you have any regrets? Okay, so question number one, basically, what has weight loss surgery done for you that you could not do for yourself before having weight loss surgery? Um, portion control. That, um, if you, I am two and a half years out, uh, lap band surgery, and before having weight loss surgery, I would eat, um, healthy. My family always told me that I was the healthiest eating fat person they'd ever met. Um, yeah, I had ice cream, you know, here and there. Well, not here and there, probably more than off not. Um, but I made healthy meals. I cooked healthy for Louise and I, my husband. I just, I could eat enough for three, four people. Um, and I cooked enough for three and four people. Because um, for those of you that are, you know, either single or just with your husband, it's hard to not buy food um, that's not geared toward a four person family. Um, that's just how, you know, a lot of the food companies make portions, you know, whether it's canned food, bo food in a box, whatever. Um, unless you're buying fresh fruits and vegetables and um, portioning out your meat and then freezing it, uh, buying enough for two people is really, really hard. So, that being said, I would make enough food for four people and then he, Louise would probably eat enough for, you know, the average American male, and I would eat enough for the average American family. Um, so I, I just, my portion control was out of control and very uh, unrealistic. Um, and you know, sometimes I would have two or three servings of something, um, even after I served myself my first plate and ate way too much to begin with. So, portion control is probably the number one thing, um, and really that's what lap band is all about, learning um, portion control. Um, it just makes you feel full on less food, and that less food is typically um, a serving size, what you should be eating. So, that's what weight loss surgery has done for me. Um, what have I done for weight loss surgery? Not much lately. <laughs> okay, how, uh, how is it that weight loss surgery was the right thing. How is it that weight loss surgery was the right thing for you? Um, you know, I think a lot of people that have had weight loss surgery have basically hit rock bottom. Um, you know, for me it was losing, I think I had lost 60 pounds at one point, um, and then I had gained another, you know, gone down to 193 and went back up to 212 and I just said I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, I needed, I needed something long term and crash dieting was not going to be long term. And so, and that's what I had been doing. So I decided, um, you know, basically to bite the bullet and have something that would help me forever. So I think hitting rock bottom, um, whether it's emotionally, physically, um, a combination of the two, which I think for most times is um, what people experience. Um, for me, I wasn't really emotional. Um, I actually felt good about myself when I had weight loss surgery, which is kind of strange. Um, because I had lost 60 pounds. Um, I had already made a significant change in my life, uh, but I knew that I needed the assistance of the lap band surgery. Oh, my aunt's calling me. Decline. Sorry. Okay, and do you have any regrets? Um, if you ask me today, no. If you ask me tomorrow, probably yeah. Um, it's a, it's a daily thing for me. I sometimes regret the surgery that I had, and I think a lot of people that have had lap band um, also say that. I know a lot of like-minded people in that sense. Um, some people have made the lap band work very well for them and they have you know, used their tool to their advantage. They have um, really, really pushed through and got to their goal weight. Um, me, on the other hand, um, I probably could have used the assistance of some malnutrition um, and maybe dumping would have been nice. <laughs> um, you know, with the lap band, I have no um, the only thing that I, the only symptom that I ever have is, of course, uh, pee being, and that's very um, hit or miss. It doesn't happen every time, and so there are times when I can eat a whole plate of food, um, like I was a normal stomached person, 
and there are times when I can hardly eat two bites. Um, so definitely the inconsistency of the lap band in my journey and um, that I feel like it didn't really help me. It's a tool and so if you don't use your tool to your advantage, you know, it, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't do anything for you if you're not using it correctly and, um, you know, and that's nobody's fault of my own. Nobody's fault but my own. So I think that is what it is. And you have to decide to make the, the right choice when it comes to food. And so not making those choices, I have um, stayed at the weight that I'm at. So this week, I can definitely tell you, starting today, um, I have a new accountability partner. Um, she's also um, has a baby the same age as mine. She's um, a R&Y patient. But I think having someone that, you know, there's no BS uh, really helps. So I hope everyone, I hope that helped anybody out there that needed help with anything. Me and Miss Thang here are going to go, and we'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.